welcome to biology the central study of life the small intestine which a length of more than six meter in humans the small intestine is the longest section of the alimentary canal uh, its name refers to its small diameter compared with that of the large intestine most of the enzymatic uh, hydrolysis of food micromolecules and most of the absorption of nutrients into the blood occur in the small intestine Enzymatic action in the small intestine, the first 25 centimeter or so of the small intestine is called the uh, uh, duodenum. Uh, it's here that acid column from the stomach mixes with digestive juices from the pancreas, liver, uh, gallbladder, and the gland cells of the intestinal walls itself. The pancreas produces several hydrolytic enzymes and an alkaline solution rich in bicarbonate. The bicarbonate acts as a buffer, offsetting the acidity of chyme from the stomach. The pancreatic enzymes include protein digesting enzymes, um, proteases, that are secreted into the uh, duodenum uh, in an active form in a chain reaction similar to the activation of pepsin in the stomach. The pancreatic um, proteases are activated once they are safely located in the extracellular spaces within the duodenum. The liver performs a wide variety of functions in the blood, including the production of pile, a mixture of substances that is stored in the gallbladder until needed. Pile contains no digestive enzymes, but it does contain pile salts, which act as a detergents uh, emulsifiers cephalor, that aid in the digestion and absorption of fats bile also contains pigments that are byproducts of red blood cells destruction in the liver these bile pigments are eliminated from the body with the feces uh, with feces the epithelial lining of the uh, duodenum uh, is called the brush border uh, is the source of several digestive enzymes. Some of these enzymes are secreted into the lumen of the duodenum. Uh, notice this video. The duodenum hydrolytic enzymes uh, from uh, accessory glands mixed with acid chyme in the duodenum continue, continue, continuing the digestion uh, process. Note that. Pyel, notice that. Um, bile is produced in the liver, but is stored in the uh, gallbladder, which releases bile into the uh, duodenum as needed. Notice that. Um, but other digestive enzymes are actually bound to the surface of epithelial cells. Enzymatic digestion is completed as peristalsis. Uh, moves uh, the mixture of uh, chyme and digestive digestive juices along the small intestine, as shown this video. Most digestion is completed early in this journey, while the chyme is still in the um, duodenum. Uh, the uh, the remaining uh, regions of the small intestine called uh, jejunum and uh, ileum function meaning uh, in the absorption of nutrients and water as no as shown this figure uh, on the in this figure in this so here uh, absorption um, this is diagrams how hormones help uh, coordinate the secretion of digestive juices into the eliminatory canal. Carbohydrate digestion, uh, oral cavity, pharynx, uh, esophagus, uh, polysaccharide, disaccharide, polysaccharide starch, glucose, uh, glucogen, and disaccharide, sucrose, lactose, salivary amylose, smaller polysaccharide maltose. And the stomach notice that uh, proteins, pepsin, small polypeptides. Notice also lumen uh, of a small intestine, polysaccharide, pancreatic uh, amyloses, maltose, and other disaccharides. And notice also protein digestion, uh, polypeptides, pancreatic uh, tribulation, and um, 
Kaimo Tripisen, these brut, uh, brutiases, brutiases uh, cleaves, cleave bones uh, adjacent to certain amino acids, smaller polybop, polybaptides, pancreatic, uh, carbo, uh, carboxybaptides, amino acids, small baptides, uh, dibaptides, uh, carbo, carboxybaptides, and amino baptides. These uh, uh, brutizes split of uh, uh, one amino acid at time working for uh, from opposite ends of a polypeptide are an ad and a pancreatic nucleus um, and nucleotides and nucleotides and uh, nucleotides and phosphates nitrogenous bases sugars and phosphate uh, bile salts, uh, fault globule, insoluble in water, fats uh, aggregate as globules, uh, fat droplets, a uh, coating of bile salts prevents small uh, droplets from um, uh, into largest globule, increasing exposure to uh, okay absorption of nutrients uh, from collecting into large globules. Absorption of nutrients uh, to enter the body. Nutrients in the lumen, uh, lumen must cross the lining of the digestive tract. A few nutrients are absorbed in the stomach and large intestine, but most absorption occurs in the small intestine. This organs, organ has a huge surface uh, area, 300 meter uh, square, roughly the size of, the tennis, uh, of a tennis co court. Large circular folds in the lining, um, P uh, finger like projecting, uh, call it vila, and each uh, epithelial cell of uh, uh, vilus uh, has many microscopic appendages, call it micro -vile, uh, micro microvilli, that are exposed uh, to the intestinal lumen. The microscopic um, or, or micro uh, microvilli uh, shape is the basis of the term brush border of the intestine for the intestinal epithelium as shown this uh, this enormous um, microvilli uh, villar surface is an adaptation that greatly increases the rate of nutrient absorption uh, penetrating the core of each uh, vilus is not uh, of microscopic blood vessels, uh, capillaries, and a small vessel of the lymphatic system called uh, lichitile, in addition to their circulatory system. Vertebrates have an associated network of vessels. The lymphatic system that carries, uh, carries a clear fluid called lymph. This, um, uh, nutrients are absorbed across uh, the intestinal epithelium and then across the unicellular epithelium of the capillaries of uh, lactea, rac, um, lacteal, uh, lacteals. Those only two layers as shown in this video. Um, two, uh, only two layers of epithelium cells separate nutrients in the lumen of the intestine from the bloodstream. In some cases, transport of nutrients across the epithelial cell is, uh, is passive. The sugar fractals, for example, apparently moves by facilitated diffusion down its concentration gradients from the lumen of the intestine into the epithelial cells and then into capillaries. Other nutrients, including amino acids, small peptides, vitamins, and glucose, and several other simple sugars, are pumped against concentration gradients by the epithelial membranes. This active transport allows the intestine to absorb a much higher proportion of the nutrients in the intestine than would be possible with passive diffusion. Amino acids and sugars pass through the epithelium intercapillaries and are carried away from the intestine by the bloodstream after a glycerol and fatty acids are absorbed by uh, epithelial cells. They are recomb recombined into fats within those cells. The fat are then mixed with glycerol and coated with proteins formed small glucose as, as shown in this video. Uh, call it um, chylomicron.
chylo microns, most of which are transported out of the epithelial cells and into um, la lacteals. lacteals. The lacteals uh, converge into the larger vessels of the lymphatic system, lymph containing chylo micron, micron, microns eventually drains from the lymphatic system into large veins that retain blood to the heart. In contrast to the um, lacteal, lacteals, the capillaries and veins that carry nutrients rich blood away from the vile. Uh, villi from the, the villi all converge into the uh, hepatic portal vein, a blood vessel that leads directly to the liver. Uh, this ensures that the liver, which has the metabolic versatility in to interconvert various organic molecules, has fair access to amino acids and sugars absorbed after a meal is digested. Therefore, blood that leaves the liver may have a very different balance of these nutrients than the blood that enters via uh, the hepatic portal vein. For example, the liver helps regulate the level of glucose molecules in the blood, and, uh, and the blood existing. The liver usually has a glucose concentration very close to 19 mg each 100 mg, regardless of the carbohydrate content of a meal. From the liver, blood it travels to the heart, which pumps the blood and the nutrients uh, it contains to all parts of the body. The large intestine. Uh, the large intestine or colon is connected uh, to the small intestine at a T-shaped junction, where a sick nectar is shown. Uh, this video digital image of a human, a human colon. This image was produced by um, integrating two dimensional sectional uh, views of the large intestine. Notice that. Uh, a muscular valve uh, controls the movements of material. One arm of the T is uh, of the uh, T is about call it the cecum. Uh, compared to many other mammals, humans have a relatively small cecum. The human cecum has a finger-like extension, the appendix, which is disp uh, disposable lymphoid tissue in the appendix makes a minor contribution. To body defense, the main branch, uh, the main branch of the human colon is about 1.5 meter long. A major function of the colon is to recover water that has entered the uh, eliminatory canal as the solvent of the various uh, uh, digestive juices. About seven liter of fluid are secreted into the human of the digestive tract each day which is much more liquid than most people drink, most of this water is, is reabsorbed re um, uh, 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 when uh, nutrients are absorbed in the small intestine, the colon reclaims much of the remaining water that was not absorbed in the small intestine. Together, the small intestine and colon uh, reabsorb uh, about 90% of the water that enters the eliminatory canal. The wisps of the digestive tract of the feces uh, become more so solid as they are moved along the colon by peristalsis. The movement is um, sluggish and it generally takes about um, 12 to 24 hours for material to travel the length of the organ. If the lining of the colon is ir um, irritated by a viral or bacteria infection, for instance, less water than normal may be uh, reabsorbed, resulting in, in di uh, diarrhea. Uh, the opposite problem constipation cons uh, cons uh, uh, occurs when a peristalsis moves. Uh, moves or the feces along the colon too slowly and excess of water uh, is uh, reabsorbed and the feces uh, become complicated. 
Living in the large intestine is a rich flora of mostly harmless bacteria or one of the common inhabitants of the human colon is um, Escherichia coli, a favorite re uh, research organisms of uh, mortal biologists. The presence of E. coli in lakes and seams is an indication of contamination by untreated sewage. Intestinal bacteria live in or live on uh, unabsorbed organic material as by products of their metabolism. Many colon bacteria generate gases, including methane and hydrogen uh, sulfide. Some of the bacteria produce uh, vitamins, including biotin, uh, folic acid, vitamin K, and several B vitamins. These vitamins absorb it into the blood so, uh, supplement our dietary. Uh, intake of the vitamins. Feces contain masses of bacteria as well as cellulose and other undigested materials. Although cellulose fibers have no caloric value to humans, their presence in the diet helps move food along the digestive tract. The terminal portion of the colon is called the rectum, where feces are stored until they can be eliminated between the rectum and the inus are two sphincters. Uh, one uh, um, involuntary and the other voluntary. Uh, one or more times each day, strong uh, contractions of the colon create an urge to uh, defi uh, defecate. We have now followed a meal uh, from one opening, the mouth of the elementary canal, to the other, uh, the inus. Uh, in the last section of this chapter, we will...